One of my favorite stories, when Tom was in baseball, uh, one of the people who worked for him was Omar Manaya, who later became uh, uh, the general manager of the New York Mets and, you know, a really fine person and a great reputation in baseball. But tell, tell him about Omar and how he got the job at the Mets when they went up for the interview. Well, Omar uh, is Dominican, and uh, he's a great guy. Yeah, I mean, he's just... He knows baseball, and he, uh, he is primarily a scout. And it, scouts, it's a, it's a real art in baseball. If you get one out of 10 people that you uh, uh, sign to the major leagues, you've done a terrific job. Omar was that kind of person. He could see Juan Gonzalez when Juan Gonzalez was 15 years old and say, this is going to be a superstar. He saw Pudge Rodriguez uh, when he was 15 and said, this kid's going to be a superstar. And he followed them and all that kind of stuff. So, again, baseball, trying to increase the diversity uh, of managers and general managers, uh, coaches and all of that, uh, had a program that you had to, uh, before you could hire anybody for the general manager's job or, or a, a coach or whatever, you had to interview a minority. And... Omar was a minority, and so he was getting interviewed a lot, but he wasn't getting hired. Um, and he came back to me, and he said, I'm not going to go on any more interviews. And I said, oh, I don't think I'd do that. And uh, he, when he got hired, he, he sent me a, uh, a note and said, I thought of Momo. That's what we, after she became a grandmother, that's what we should said, I, I did what Momo wanted me to do. She said, he said, and I told him at the time, I said, my mother always said, you don't let anybody ever tell you you're not good enough. And you don't let anybody tell you that you don't belong. Uh, and you walk into that room like you do. And he, he said, I walked in and I got the job. 